I'm literally so nervous. My heart is thumping so much. I really just have to be myself. Just do it. If I don't get in, I'm okay. If I do get in, great. Um, I gotta try to be enthusiastic and have my voice. And if I do it wrong, please let me know. I don't know if I'll upload this video yet. If I get accepted, most likely. If I get rejected, I have to think about that because um, maybe I just completely fumbled and I don't want to embarrass myself. But I guess it would be a good example of what not to do. So maybe I'll post it anyway, just, just for funsies. Maybe I'll wait a couple months after the rejection so that way it doesn't feel so soft and recent for me. Hey guys, future me here. I completely forgot to record myself answering the phone and getting the phone call in general. So here I am telling you that that was all skip. And the lady pretty much just tells me who she is, what we're doing, and how she's going to ask me questions about the Disney College program. And yeah, Jamie! I will be happy to answer them for you, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Absolutely. So why would you like to join us on the Disney College program? Why did you choose to apply? I actually recently heard about it a couple years ago when I started college and I didn't know that Disney had a college program so I thought that was really cool and it would be such a unique experience and anytime I've ever gone to Disney I just feel so much inspiration and wonder and I just feel like I can do anything there are just possibilities to do anything and I kind of just think about Rapunzel from Tangled and how she's always wanting to go see those <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah to see those floating lights and she does everything she can to go see them and eventually she gets there and it's just really good motivation for me to have goals and reach them. And I feel like being in the Disney College program could really reinforce that idea to me. Excellent. Great. That's so nice to hear. Okay. <laughs> um, and as you took a look at the roles that our college students play on the college program, um, did a few of them appeal to you? Um, yes. I actually had the most appeal towards lodging because I actually liked the idea okay. of interacting with a bunch of guests and knowing where they're coming from if they tell me of course but like just <laughs> seeing how they come in and like how excited they are and I feel like whenever you go to your hotel or anything it's the first thing that they'll see when they come to Disney and I just want that experience to be special and I can just help them have a really good moment when they first arrive. You know it's funny once my son and I arrived at 2 30 in the morning because our huh? flight had been delayed and there was literally no one there to say welcome oh no so, so blue um so we had to obviously we, we called and the personnel came out but yeah you're right it makes such a it's such a big difference when people greet you and right like yeah to see you and there are times that I find the resorts even more interesting than the parks. So, yeah. It's, oh, it's yeah. I think, good, I think they're all um, beautiful. Okay, so I understand lodging. And what was the second choice? The second one I was interested in was entertainment, such as, like, costume operations. Okay. I think it would be really cool to be behind the scenes and, like, helping the performers and other cast members get their costumes together and stay organized because I feel like I'm fairly organized and I'm kind of a go-getter. So if I see something that, that <laughs> needs to be done, I could probably just – go and do it if needed true yeah and those things are really um time sensitive there's a fast right. turnaround one question about that do you feel comfortable assisting people who will be in various states of dress and undress will that make you uncomfortable or no you i i could that? totally do it i have siblings <laughs> so i'm okay <laughs> yeah that. okay and what was your third choice i believe the last one I don't think I had a last one. Okay, well, let yeah. me uh, pick one for you. Okay. So, <laughs> when you think about how folks come to Disney, they, they do three things mainly. They eat, mm -hmm. they buy things, and they ride attractions. Those mm -hmm. are our top three. So okay. those are the ones that we tend to have the most need in. So, um, oh, I did look at attractions. That one was interesting. Yeah. Are one of those okay for you? Yes. They all sound wonderful, all, honestly. All of them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> okay. Do you have a comfort level working around food? Yes, I'm 100% okay with working around food. Good. And are you okay working in an indoor and outdoor location? I know you live in Florida, so you know what the weather's like. Yes. I. Yeah, I can do it all. I think I, I've that. gotten used to it. <laughs> Okay. Um, uh, we have been asked to explore if our candidates are strong swimmers. If you're not, just let me know and then we'll avoid that lifeguard role for you. I'm probably going to be one that has to avoid the lifeguard role. It's really weird that I live in Florida and no one taught me how to swim. I can doggy paddle, but that's not going to help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so maybe not lifeguarding. Let's, let's 
skip that one. Yeah. Okay, um, very good. And um, I know that you're aware that Disney has standards of cleanliness and safety and that they're really important to us so our guests can enjoy themselves and our cast members can be safe too. Have you ever had to improve safety on the job or cleanliness? And if so, how did you go about making those improvements? Um. Yeah, so I actually did a job last semester where I was a student lab assistant because I'm actually in the medical field and I applied to be the essentially a TA where I just keep the lab together so that way if there's any spills I'll clean it up right away I'll dispose of all the biohazard waste as efficiently as possible and if there's glass I make sure I put it in the right container so that way it doesn't stick out of the bags and I think there was just one time a classmate dropped a tube like under her desk and I kind of just got up and went and tried to clean as as quick as possible. It was a small tube, but I guess my brain was just like, oh no, glass, let's go get it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, and then of course at work, there's always safety issues with cleaning and make sure no one slips and falls if they're just spill. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you really have to be on the ball no matter where you are, it sounds like. Right. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I know that we talked about a few of the roles that you selected, and I'm so happy that you had a chance to review them on the website. Right. Just so you know, the way we're handling things this year is we are uh, responsive to what the parks and the resorts need. Um, so we won't know um, where you're placed until pretty close to when you join us. Um, you can be placed anywhere. We have college program participants working, even if we didn't happen to talk about that role today. Um, but based on the descriptions of the roles that you saw in the Disney College Program website, do you feel you're able to perform the essential functions of the roles with or without a reasonable accommodation? Yes, I believe I can do them. Hooray. Okay. Here's what you can expect next. We are going to communicate about our decision to your dashboard on the Disney Career Portal. It's the first page that pops up when you log in. We're making decisions continuously throughout the season, but you should hear from us no later than mid to late April. And if you're offered a chance to participate, you'll receive information about the steps you need to take to accept your offer. You'll have seven days from the date of your offer to complete the process. And if you have any questions, you can reach us at our support site, which is support dot disney programs with an s dot com if you do accept an offer about a week before your arrival you'll receive an itinerary including your check-in time our address your schedule for the first week and the role that you've been selected to perform at walt disney world so i know i threw a lot of information at you lillian <laughs> do you have any questions for me um i do so i saw that there was a disney look that we have to do the only piercing sure. that i have is just the traditional lobe what kind of earrings can oh. I wear? Yeah, um, I think they have to be smaller than an inch or something like that. I can't remember. And, and they actually may have adjusted it, made it even more um, lenient. But um, yeah, I think they're generally smaller than, you know, an, an, an inch or so. So maybe like a stud, maybe not hoops. Exactly. Okay, yeah. Okay. great. Um, I do have a couple more questions. How long do I have you for? Oh, you can keep me as long as you need me. Oh, okay. Um, the first question I had is, do I still need to get approval from my university if I do get accepted into this program? I'm graduating in August, and I was hoping if I get in, I could go for a fall term thing. Okay, I'll check the arrival dates for you. Um, the, the folks who need to get approval generally from their university are folks who are getting college credit for being in the program. Oh, okay. It doesn't sound like that's going to apply to you. And also folks who are taking, say, classes while they're with us. So right. um, I don't think you need their approval. It might be nice, nice okay. to let them know. But, uh, yeah, I think you're covered there. Okay, great. And then let me let me check the arrival dates because I, I can't keep them in my head. So <laughs> That's okay. they're listed here somewhere. Arrival dates. Arrival dates. Okay. Our arrival dates for the upcoming season begin as early as May and run until October. Looks like you're covered there. Great. Right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the fall is the yeah, goal. There's, about, there's, a, there's about four in August. There's one in September and one in October. And they fill up. But, you know, as long as they're available for you, you're good to go. Okay. That's great. Ready? Um, yeah. The second and, question yeah. I had was um, what qualities do do you or do you think Disney is looking for in a cast member? Energy, positivity, um, the willingness to kind of just get get in there and get the job done. So initiative, um, 
a love of Disney it always helps. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't imagine if anyone would apply. With friendliness, I think those okay. are those are probably the most important things. Oh, great. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, I sense that about you. I think you're covered there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Sure. Um, yeah. Just two more questions. We're almost done. <laughs> Okay, hey, good. How did you start with Disney? Did you do anything like the college program? I did something exactly like the college oh, program okay. when the uh, Disney MGM Studios opened before you were born, I suppose. Oh. Um, it was like in 1989. And um, I did the college program. I was a tour guide, and I never fell out of love with Mickey Mouse. And now here I am recruiting students like you, and it's pretty, pretty amazing. That's so actually it's all so cool. That's yeah. amazing. What was it like as a tour guide? You kind of just show people where things are. Well, it was scripted and it right. was it was new, um, and so we were just kind of fleshing out the kinds of things that we were doing. But we had like a backstage lot. There was um, a New York City street. There were we walked them through sound stages. So we had to kind of learn what was going on in certain different areas. Um, and we kind of kept up with those sorts of changes, but, um, yeah, there were groups of like about 30 and I think it was a tram ride and it was way different back then, <laughs> but it was pretty fun. That sounds so cool. And you actually got like all the background knowledge of how Disney is and the behind the scenes and everything. That's really cool. <laughs> it was really awesome. Yeah. yeah. Ready. Um, last one. Do you have any advice on how I can make the most out of my college program experience? Another great question. So when I was on the program, it seemed like there were people there who were really directed toward a career at Disney. So they took the program super duper seriously. Mm -hmm. And then there were other people there who were simply there to have a good time and to enjoy all the perks of working for Disney. Right. Um, I think, I believe, honestly, if you strike the balance between remembering, yeah, this could be a career opportunity for you. However, it's also like the single most magical period in your life right. where you're going to meet lifelong friends. So if you, if you kind of do go into it with the attitude like, oh, my goodness, this is kind of fun, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you'll get more out of it. So uh, that's just my advice. I, I, you are the kind of person you are. If, if you're in it for a career, yay. If you're right. in it for fun, yay. <laughs> but, but you can have both. So. That's good. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I forgot okay. to ask you if you had a favorite park or resort. A favorite park? Um, I feel like I've been to Magic Kingdom the most. I'm, I'm between Magic Kingdom and Epcot. I like Epcot for the food because that's always the best part. <laughs> but I feel like if I had to choose between the two, I'd definitely choose Magic Kingdom. I just feel more magic there. I don't know. I can't explain it. I just do. <laughs> I know that feeling. It's really weird. When the, I, I, very recently, we went to Magic Kingdom, and I literally got chills. And I, I thought, how weird is this? But it's yeah. simply magical. So. Are you in Orlando? Like, do you work in Orlando? Or Good news for me is we're able to, a crew of us are able to work remotely. Um, so I work out of my um, home office in Pittsburgh, but I visit very often. Oh, so. that's so cool. That's, that's actually really nice that they do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's a great arrangement. It's simply a, a wonderful company to work for, for sure. Right. I'm that sounds good. I'm glad that you think so too. <laughs> I'm not paid to say that. I, <laughs> it didn't sound like you were paid to say that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Cindy. This was really fun. I think this interview was an experience in itself. Oh, well, yeah. I'm happy that I got to speak with you today. Yeah, thank and I you. Will sprinkle some pixie dust here on your application. Okay. And wish you well as we go through this. And uh, I am hopeful you'll be making magic very soon. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks. You take care. Bye for okay. now. Okay. Bye, Cindy. Bye. Well, that went pretty well. That was a lot shorter than I expected. Maybe she wanted to finish quick. Um, I hope you heard all that. Um, I feel bad I kind of interrupted her a couple times. I need to really focus on that. But I, I, she was laughing. I think that was good. Those are good signs. Um, I guess now we wait. Yeah. I don't know. That's it. Um, well, thanks for watching. I guess you'll find out soon if I'm in or not. Okay, bye.